Hey guys, it's another brand new day here in my reselling life. I've got a heap of cardboard in the back of the car as you can see. I filled it yesterday afternoon when I left the storage shed, but I really need to drop that first thing this morning, get it out of the car. So I'm just gonna drop that down to the recycle center. And then I thought I might go thrifting at some charity shops today because it's been a couple of weeks and I haven't been down there. I thought I'd go and see what I can get. See if there's anything worth picking up. So I'm back from charity shop one. Now this shop actually had some fantastic books. They really did, but they're just priced too high for me to make decent profit on them. The thing with books is you have to buy them in low. So you have to be, if you're gonna pay up for a book, you have to be really careful and you have to know what you're buying. So what I do is I look for some of the books on the half price stickers other than that, it's not really worth my while in buying a lot of their books. However, there was an exception and I'll show you. But first, so I got this book on roses. It's a Yates Garden Guide. I got it for half price, so I only paid a dollar. I should be able to sell this book for about $25. I got a set here, two books. Um, they might be young adult fiction, I'm not sure. I think it looks like young adult fantasy fiction. Anyway, I got them on the half price. I paid $1.50 each, so $3 for a two book set. Hopefully I should be able to get around about $25 for those. 28 maybe. Now, this was another book. So I actually paid full price for this book and it was $5. So the reason why I grabbed this book is because I've sold it before and I know that I can get around about $40 for this book. So because I know that, as soon as I saw it, you know, like I grabbed it. And that just comes from knowledge. That just comes from me have, having sold so many hundreds and thousands of books now that I'm actually very good at scanning with my eyes and I can pick out the books. Like I seem to retain the books that I sell for quite high priced. So as soon as I saw this one, I knew it was a high book. It's a book about like interiors and stuff. So it's almost like a coffee table book. I will be able to sell that, yeah. Like I said, around 40 bucks. Now, as I was paying, I spotted this. And oh, I decided to go back. Like, I paid for my books. I spotted this on the way out. It wasn't sitting near the normal books. It was sitting on a shelf with like a display shelf with other things. I went back and had a look at it. Now, this is the, um, you know, the Snickets. The Snickets, lim, lim, Lickety Snickets. Oh, <laughs> I don't know how you say it, but Lickety Snickets. This is a Lickety Snickets book set of nine, box, nine books and it's in a box set. So it was expensive, guys. I paid up $20 for this book set of nine books. But I've run the comps on this and this same set has sold twice and it's selling for $75. So even if I take out $20, even if I take out $10 in eBay fees, $30, even if I take out uh, $10, you know, this will go into a medium satchel. So like, th um, you know, around about $10, let's say. 
So that takes me to $40. But if I can sell that for 70, 75 bucks, that's still a 30, 35 book. 30 35 dollar profit and these type of books the snicket book sets they do sell very well so i don't think that'll sit on my shelf for too long and you know i'll be happy to get 70 dollars for that so so i guess the moral is when i'm going into a cherry picker store then I will run my comps and I'm very choosy about what I buy. When I buy the large hauls, I'm much less choosy because I'm getting them at such a different rate. When you're getting books that are ranged between 30 cents, 50 cents, 70 cents, you know, up to a dollar, then that's a pretty good rate. Once I start going into a charity shop and I have to look at over $3 of books, it's a whole different game changer. And I'm not prepared to put quite often that much money into a paperback book. So I have to choose very carefully. So it's much more time consuming. Okay guys, I'm back from store two. I went into one of the Salvo stores. So I picked up this box set of Karen Kingsbury. The books are in immaculate condition. There's one listed on eBay that I could see for $50 for a box set the same. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I'll get that much, but I do know that I'm pretty sure, pretty confident I'll get at least $35. So I'll run some more comps when I get home. I think anywhere probably between $35 and $50. $50 might be a bit steep, but we'll go $35 plus for this box set. I did pay $6, so I paid up for it, but it's an immaculate condition. The box, even the box itself is in great condition. So that's a win. Now, the next book I picked up was called Texas, and it's a novel by James Mishner. Now, this is a first edition book. Um, it's a vintage book, and I comped this to be worth around about $30, $35. So I paid $4, so I did pay up for that book. I don't mind paying up for a book if I'm going to sell it for, you know, $30 odd. Like, it, it, it makes sense. It's relevant. So anyway, I'm happy with that. And I've also got this barbecue kettle book. Now, this book is a fast seller for me. I sell it on a rotation. <laughs> so I do pick it up if I can find it cheap enough. Sometimes it's just too expensive to buy. But if I can find, I found this one for $2 today. So that's worth it for me. I can't remember what I actually sell this book for. Um, from memory, it's probably around the $25 mark, maybe up $28 can't quite remember but the thing is it's one of those books that I it's like bread and butter to me I sell this book often and on repeat and it is um it is summer here in Australia so everybody's cooking their barbecues so this is a great book for me to collect <music> Okay, another store done. It is hot in my car at the moment. <laughs> okay, I got eight books in that haul. 
Now, I got three hardcover books here on the half price color today. So I've paid a dollar fifty for each of these books, and they are part of the House of Night series. Now, this is a large series of books, and I've got Buckley's chance of finding any more in this series in the hardcover probably. I do find this series in the paperback a little bit, but it's a big series and it can take me a while to build it. But I'm just gonna bundle the three of these together. They've obviously come from the same person. They're in excellent condition. And I suspect that by bundling those three hardcovers, I'll get at least $35. So I've paid $1.50 a book. So $4.50 for the three, they will fit in a small satchel together. So it was worth um, picking up that lot. Now, the next one I have got is Sarah Douglas. Now, this is part of a trilogy, and unfortunately, they, were, they only had books one and three. However, I'm still going to pair them up and sell them together. I got them on the half price, so they were only $2 each. So for $4, I still think I'm going to get at least $30, $35 for those. Again, two books will go into a small satchel, so it's only gonna cost me $7.20 in post. So I'm still gonna make profit on those and they will sell. Now, I got a self-help book here. It is called The Female Brain and looks like I've paid $2 for this book. So this is a self-help book. I did run the comps on it. I think I should be able to get at least $25 for this book. Now, I also picked up this one, the Backyard Farming book. So anything that's kind of like organic farming-wise, I find that kind of book does really well for me. So again, picked that up for $2, ran the comps. It was looking at about $28, so I'm happy with that. And the last book I picked up is Anthony Adriano Zumbo's um, hardcover book. Now, I paid $4 for this book. Now, the reason why I picked this book up is um, I actually was able to obtain a while ago about 100 Adriano Z Zumbro, <laughs> Zumbo, whatever you say his name. I actually got about 100 of his small books some time ago that were all autographed and signed. And I got like boxes of them and they've been absolutely such great sellers for me. But when I team this book up with the smaller book that's autographed, I can sell this for about $80 for the two books. So I paid 50 cents for all my signed books. I, I literally got like a hundred of them and they obviously came from, you know, an event where they do like a, a book signing thing. So, because the, every single one in the book's in the box was signed and I picked up like two boxes with 50 each and I've just been selling them on repeat. <laughs> so I've sold that combo before for about $79, $80. I might even be able to get more for it because last time it sold really fast. But anyway, for a $4.50, um, $4 for this, 50 cents for the other book to turn it into at least $80, winner, winner, chicken dinner. So today guys, I did three charity shops and I spent $56.50. And I was really careful cherry picking my books. I made sure I tried to buy the books that were on the half price sticker. And the books that I paid up for, I really had run my comps for already in the store to make sure that I would be able to sell them for a decent profit. Okay, now I also didn't spend very long in these charity shops. I really just wanted to get in there and out. I don't like to spend too long. A lot of the books that I choose in the charity shops now, I am scanning very fast with my eyes. I'm sure I'm missing a lot of books in there that are actually worth a lot of money, but these are the ones I picked out from these three charity shops. So these are the prices on them that I have decided to list them for sale at. And most of them are pretty spot on with the pricing that I told you in the car. Um, this was this book here, I mentioned that I'd actually sold it before and I actually am just posting it out today. So it's stuck in my memory because I'd only re recently just listed it and I'm actually posting it today and I sold it for $46. So I'll be listing this one for the same price. $24 for a pair here, $30, $25, 25 28 now, this is the book I told you that I had the small book at home that is an autographed copy. So I will be listing the two of those together for a total of $80. This set of three will go in a small padded mailer and I'll sell that for $35, $25. 
So here we go. Here is my little mathematic chart again for you. All up, I've paid $56.50 for this haul. Um, it does seem quite a lot, but do remember that I paid up $20 for the Snicket set. And this set was $6. This set I paid up the $5 because I knew that it was worth money. And no, that one was only $3. So yeah, it, it's the $56.50 sounds a lot for the amount of books I've got here, but it's really because that one at $20 added it up. So $56.50, I'm going to sell these books for a total of $456. Well, I'm going to try to sell them for that much. <laughs> the shipping approximately will cost me $90. The padded mailers will cost me approximately $10. And I'll pay approximately $68.40 in eBay fees working on a 15%. So that's going to leave me $287.60 profit from this haul. And I'm pretty confident because I have cherry picked these books and and a lot of them I've actually, I've sold this before, I've sold this before, I've sold this before, I've sold Snickets before, um, I've sold this series before, and I've sold this before. So there's series in here and books in here that I have sold before and I'm well aware that they move quite quickly. So I'm pretty confident that I'm going to turn my $56.50 into about $287.60 profit, which I think is pretty good. So guys, I think you can agree that by just cherry picking a few books, now I was only picking up a few books at each store, but if you're a clothes seller and you're going into the clothing store and you're just picking out a few books here and there, one, it won't start to take up all your space like it has for me. Because I'm buying large hauls constantly, I'm consistently running out of space. <laughs> and I've also got a lower, lot of lower end books that have to be listed in my store. But when you're cherry picking and you're only getting a few books from each store, you can be picking out the books that are worth over like $25. And that way you're still gonna be making a pretty good profit off that book. If you wanna learn more about selling on eBay, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and follow along with my journey.